Nico and Gideon come out this year with what is probably the most anticipated series of the year or in recent times, and that was The Biggest Menace. Now, the issue with this series is I haven't watched any of it because I wanted to react to them all on stream. Didn't stream, had an eye infection, didn't react to them. And from that point, I've not watched them because I wanted to react to them. So now I'm kind of stuck. So today we have the best Nico and Gideon moments. Maybe these moments will convince me uh, to watch the series properly or failing that, it provides you for a better reaction or a worse reaction on the fact that I've not actually seen these moments. So I'm going in dry, going in blind. Not dry, going in blind uh, to watching and reacting. No, no, to the best blogger. moments I, on the I series. Make, um, adult films. Oh, okay. The aim is to meet someone here and then just like make a film together. And make adult film. Happen. Hello. Oh, wow. This is great timing. Oh, nice kid. Oh, nice kid. Today, watch some oh, of my God. content. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Would you now say still that you're not racist? I'm not, do you, I have not said the N word. So how can I be racist? Okay, well, let's bring up um, your company uh, that you have. <laughs> what the fuck? But my painting, it was ready to be hung next to the Mona Lisa. Was I going to be hanging right next to the history to the end of time or? Mona Lisa is actually just, I feel like it's a massive disappointment. I feel like it's so sad to say. But I need to like, because you go into like, you queue up for ages, you go into this room and you're expected to hang massive because that's what's been bought, like, brought up to be massive. And obviously it's great. Poe and me and Ethan went into this room and it was um, like, like an hour long plus queue. You couldn't even see it. It was like a tiny little, tiny little square over here. Oh. These are didn't put it in there, look. Give it some cyber art in there. What happens like after these videos? Should they get in shit? Just like that. Job was done. You like the cricket equivalent of Ted Lasso? I think I'm the cricket equivalent of Peyton Manning. I know how to read the field, big forehead, I'm white. Or I identify as white, but I'm just Team India. Where are you from? Where am I from? Bangladesh. He is so good at waffling, yeah. honestly. Okay, let's go. He's also. You should do a series with the biggest waffler and just see who can waffle the most and get out of situations or in situations. What am I supposed to do? Let's okay, smile. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> how about this? Yeah, how about this? There we go. Flip yeah, off the camera. What's your name, my friend? Yeah. Tyrone Price. Tyrone Price. I now understand Tyrone why Jim Price. hates Tyrones. So let's run up the national anthem. <laughs> Bye, Tyrone Price. <laughs> Peace out, Tyrone. Captain Price. <laughs> I've seen this clip actually. I've seen this clip. This is Shannon Briggs, all right? Let's go, champ. With the ceremony having a lot of inspirational <laughs> people, who is the music artist that has inspired you the most? I'm not gonna lie, R. Kelly. R. Right. Kelly really inspired me just to be a better me every day, and uh, free R. Kelly. Oh God. <laughs> Right when I hopped over, my feet touched the grass. I felt free. I was on the pitch with my Indian brothers. Nothing could stop me. Except. I gotta help them out. Bring him back. We love you. Except for the cricket security team. India! <laughs> India! The motherland! My bad, my bad. What's your cousin's name? You there in the pink dress. What's your cousin's name? Don't know. You, do you have any cousins? You have plenty, so plenty of options. You see what I'm saying? Well, you wouldn't mess with that. Well, you have, you have a lot to Jeez, Nico in a suit and the Yeezys. The Yeezys? Your brother. All right. Can I ask you about this one? Uh, actually, they just put it in there, you know. They just put that one up? Yeah. Where'd it come from? So Italy, Italy but that oh. was not it was on display. So they must have just those, put it up. Exactly. It's one of those, you know, wise men that you can actually find some shepherd to the followers. Not an apple or so, but the followers. Oh, what kind of exactly. waffle? Because he copied Nico. Because <laughs> Nico did this first. It is even viral, too far. No! Rory! It was clear Rory didn't want me to put my ball in his hole, but I still had one more chance to put it in there. Please, man. <laughs> Please, Rory! Rory, stop! It's my he dashed dream. it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to control. Rory! <laughs> That's my dream, Rory! Rory 
Rory McIlroy picked up my ball and threw it into the ocean. Never to be seen again. I admit, I was kind of fast out there, huh? Not really. They caught you instantly. I you slowed out. Like the middle. They were kind of slow. If they were slow, they made you look even slower. You had a butt with him. Yeah. No, okay, it's India. How do they get? He just gets famous so much. They both do. It is crazy thinking about it. And, uh, what about TikTok? TikTok. Oh, Little Nas. Yeah. X. That's a singer. <laughs> Little Nas X. Yeah, I do rap too. Let's go. <laughs> it's part of the wrestling show. People think it's part of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait, let him on. Let's go, stop, stop. Whose guy is this? NDL! Bring my boy, Nico! A notable genetic professor has proven that children who are born from a male and female outside of their family turn out to be lower quality form of human. He also adds that those who are born from the likes of incest naturally have a higher form of integrity. Am I winning anyone over so far? I feel like I need to know there what was going on. Why is his hand up? I feel like I need to know the context. Because it kind of reminds me of Impractical Jokers where you get like, you kind of have them as a forfeit, they used to have them do like a PowerPoint presentation and it'd be written by the other boys. And then they had to just read it, whatever it said, and just firm it. Is this what this one was? Born from the likes of incest naturally have a higher form of integrity. Am I winning anyone over so far? How's that? There we go, brother. Smart guy. You know, is Nick, is he's the one that's followed you outside. I don't know. He might just be a fanboy. So who's got your phone? That man there. That man right there. Most of the awards had now been given out, but there was still one to go. And that's the one which Jid was announcing. On the card, it will say the award winner is Richard Linton. But as a reminder, Jid will have four names to choose from. But what he doesn't know is all of them lead to the exact same person. If he reads Richard Linton, he has folded and I win the biggest menace. But if he reads any of the other three names and interrupts the winning speech, he will complete this challenge and not fold. We've built this up as much as we can, tried to get in his head as many ways as possible. But now it's time to see if he- This is on the bang most used, right? I've seen it on like 9 million plus. Racing. It was now or never. I had no idea what I was about to do. But what I didn't know was I was sh bricks. Well, today I'm gonna be presenting the Acoustic Music Producer Award. So, yeah. Congratulations to whoever won. Fed, what was it? There was, we, we went to like the Gamer Awards, something like Gaming Awards, and Deji had to um, do one. And as a prank or as a troll, he read out the wrong answer. So, like, Deji's got the balls to do it, so surely. I wish I had like a speech for it. I like everything. This is like a whole company. A little bit more fun. And the winner is. Richard Linton. Folded. He folded. <laughs> oh, I want to see what happened. Okay, I need to watch our series. I'm sorry. I need to watch our series. <laughs> this was the best moments of the series, and I've not watched the series. <laughs> hey, now they've, they've enticed me, they've convinced me. See, see it's like a trailer, as a teaser. And if you've not seen it either, then maybe you'll watch it as well. Because, yeah, it, it looks like it's part of YouTube history, you know, one of the best things of the year so far. So please go and watch it. Show them love it deserves. Anyway, farewell. Goodbye.